Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for what will hopefully be the definitive video on the Medicom Ra 1.6 scale Big Chap Alien figure. This figure has been out for about 14 years. Can't believe I've slept on it this long. It's only just arrived in the collection. I can't wait to get stuck in. I'm also going to be comparing this to the Hot Toys 1.6 scale Big Chap in the very near future. So make sure you are subscribed, drop a like on this video, that is important, it will help more people find this video. I've already had messages from people when I posted pictures of this on Facebook and Instagram saying they had no idea it existed. So help people find this video by dropping a like on it, leave me a comment, and enjoy this review folks. So, it's been a while since this was released, and it still holds up really well. I remember, back in the early days of collecting 1-6 scale, right after Batman Begins came out and before The Dark Knight came out, it was in between those two films that I really got into 1-6. I remember seeing this on eBay and being very tempted, but the couple of videos that are on YouTube, there's only about two or three of this figure on YouTube at the moment. This will be probably the fourth video to go up in all those years. Um, so really not much coverage of this piece on social media, but I was put off in the past by the fact that he is a 1-6 scale figure but he's not true 1-6 scale for the alien big chap. This figure measures 12 inches tall which is the average height for a human 1-6 scale figure and let's say the Hot Toys big chap he comes in at about 14 inches tall so he's nowhere near as big or as tall as he should be for 1-6 scale but the accuracy and the sculpt and the proportions it's just an absolute must-have. It may not work very well standing beside a Hot Toys Ripley or a Hot Toys Predator, but if you can separate it and put some, you know, put it somewhere else with like a nice steel book or something, it's absolutely incredible. And I know after this video goes up, you know, there's going to be searches on eBay trying to find one of these. Uh, at the moment, I looked. Um, there's one uh, that's got about 14 hours on it, and no one's bidded on it so far. It's about 250. I got this from a collector, I think in the UK. And really cool guy, and he was selling this for 140, uh, 140 pounds. So that is, you know, considering I saw one brand new in Japan for like a thousand, uh, to get this in the condition it's in, which is really excellent condition, for 140 pounds, you know, from the same country as me, so I didn't have to wait long for it to arrive. Uh, I'm absolutely just chuffed to bits really happy with how everything's worked out but all these years later this figure is finally in the collection and seeing it in front of me I cannot believe it took me that long now one tiny little thing I have done and it didn't really need doing but I just really like the real chrome teeth so I had a chrome paint pen and I basically uh, tried that on a surface of something else didn't really look very good so then I remembered I actually had some chrome spray paint in the garage and I sprayed that into my little paint bowl and I used a little flat paintbrush and I went over the teeth with the chrome spray. I also went over the fingernails and his little toenails on his schnutzies there. It just makes the teeth pop a bit more. That's the only mod I've done. I have put the word out couple of times when I knew this was coming looking for someone to repaint it for me because the sculpt is there and the paint's fine considering it's like almost 15 years old but with a real professional repaint with all those color details this would be just insane so I have been in touch with two people who do repaints on big chap aliens but unfortunately they were too busy if anyone watching this is capable of doing it and I mean really capable of doing it like you know prime one level paint job um, or knows someone who can do that reach out to me let me know about it and uh, maybe in the future I can get this repainted but if it doesn't happen uh, you know with the lighting set up the way it is at the moment I think it looks fantastic you just got the main lights on the ceiling the one here pointing down at us to bring the light from above and I just got me little desk lights here, LED desk lights on the desk. And that does the job. Box is simple and beautiful. He does come with a clear plastic kind of rod stand. I'm not going to be using it, I just don't really like the way they look. He stands up fine on his own, but I will find... Sorry, I got my cup of tea in the front here. <laughs> 
I will find something more suitable just to make sure he never falls over. And I got my old VHS, which is in mint condition of Alien. Got that back in the very early 90s. And that's the back of the box. I mean, it's really simple. It's just the, the classic kind of artwork, just all the way around. And uh, got some credits and stuff here. Really not much. But yeah, it's fine. Simple, effective and houses this beast perfectly. And when you kind of lift up the Velcro attached flap here, uh, you can see that you can bring out the inner mouth, which I'm gonna try and do. I didn't actually realize you could do that. So that's pretty sweet. Let's see what it says here. Faithful realization of the character as seen in the movie. Well, that is certainly true. Medicom have absolutely killed it. We're gonna get into that. Uh, it was 12 inches tall, or millimeters there. Capturing its unique skin texture by using extra soft vinyl material. And this is something I love about my experience with Medicom. I used to own the Medicom 1-6 scale Dark Knight Batman. And that was incredible because it didn't use... Like I remember the first MMS Dark Knight Batman by Hot Toys. It was a full rubber suit and it was terrible. Especially after a couple of years of owning it. It just went horrible. Just, just nasty. Uh, but the Medicom Dark Knight used a very similar kind of vinyl material that this figure has. And it never got dusty, it never deteriorated, and it never cracked if you posed it. Really tough stuff. So this soft vinyl that Medicom were using uh, was absolutely fantastic, and I really miss it. And I wish Hot Toys would take note of that kind of thing, because I just can't stand the rubber material they use for their aliens. But this soft vinyl is amazing. It's smooth, tough just doesn't attract the dust at all and it's beautiful all right now the figure is on the rotating base and i've brought out the inner mouth just to use the tweezers to get that out there and that was fine now over the years he's lost a little bit of articulation in his left elbow tried to bend it as much as the right one is the right one holds it just fine that's good and stiff but the left arm not quite as good at holding the pose but that is okay He's second hand, I got him for a great price. He's old as hell. 2008 this came out. So I'm always gonna be displaying him, just standing straight up with his arms by his side. But what an incredible sculpt. Detail is incredible. Now to me, this is one of the very best and most accurate big chap figures now that I've seen it in person. Not maybe number one as far as articulated aliens go but very very close I think he would be number one if he was the right height for 1-6 scale and if the paint app was a little bit more detailed but I'm not holding anything against the figure considering its age and clearly Medicom just I don't know man how they were able to get such accurate sculpts because even the Dark Knight figure that I mentioned before didn't have the best paint job, but the sculpt of Christian Bale under the cowl was dead on. I remember hearing once that Medicom used to scan uh, the subjects and then make the figures from that. That's why they were so accurate when it came to the sculpt. But it's not just the sculpt, it's the choice of materials they use. And the amount of attention to detail and care and striving for accuracy. you got to respect it. Now I've got him posed as I intend to have him on the shelf, just arms by his side, straight up. And I've changed the lighting around a little bit to make him a little bit more backlit, so that the light catches the edges as he's turning around. I'm trying to bring the best out of the sculpt so that the light kind of hits the shadows and you get to see all that amazing detail. I mean, I could go in and dry brush over the surface of this figure and just bring out some of the the details but I'm not sure I'm not gonna rush into it because I got this for a hell of a deal they're not around that much on eBay from what I've seen and I'm really happy with it as it is and I wouldn't really want to um, I don't know almost feel like I'd be disrespecting the amazing work that Medicom did here if I started painting it but I know I've touched up the teeth and the nails a little bit but it doesn't really need uh, to be repainted for what it is you know and plus, I'm sure it's going to come up plenty in the future when I'm doing comparisons when other alien figures are released. I don't really want to mess with it too much. Catches the light nicely. It looks very impressive. 
obviously you know I've been checking out some of the prime one alien big chap videos out there on YouTube and the paint job is just so detailed and incredible you know this is nothing like that but I really really love it I think they've done an amazing job with this I wish they'd do another one a more accurate height like an extra two inches the skull inside the shape of the dome the shape of the jaw it's all there man just get a nice low angle here it kind of looks like the actor in the suit as well in certain places on the arms I love that when they capture the fact that it was a suit and you get some slight wrinkles wow this is a really nice angle look at the terrifying look on the face the skull eyes the teeth you know, I'm lucky the paint job on the teeth worked out that could have gone very wrong it's turned out good I love the skull inside and the shape of the jaw. It's very accurate. Love the hands, the fingers, the long legs, long arms. Yeah, you can see the wrinkles in the suit and the leg there and the thigh, the side. Man, I'm loving this more and more. Look at this thing. Respect it. You know you're going to be wanting this. I know you're on eBay right now over your phone. You're watching this on what? You're watching this on your TV. Best be this is the way you're supposed to watch these videos on TV. And use your phone to go on eBay and hunt while you watch. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Let's get a close up on the side profile here. I'm getting close. The sculpt is all there. It's all there in the sculpt that just could do with a little bit of a modern update, you know, with the paint. If you're out there and you're capable, you let me know about that because I'd love to see this taken to another level. I love the proportions, I mean, they seem perfect to me. I mean, I'm looking up at the shelf to my right at the Hot Toys version and it just seems nowhere near as accurate as far as the proportions. and. There's just certain key features that are just really wrong, especially the face on the Hot Toys one, but we'll get to that in the comparison video when they're side by side. Go for all the details, but if only this guy was just two inches taller, it would absolutely wipe his Harris with the Hot Toys version. I've just turned him slightly askew. We can check out the detail. The shape of the dome's very good, and the skull inside shape of that jaw is perfect but I think I'm gonna have to do a once all these videos are done I'm doing like it was alien week but it's turned into alien month considering all the stuff that has to be done on the channel here it's I'm not saying it's gonna take a month but it's a bit more realistic than me saying alien week there's still a lot coming folks still got to review the rest of the NECA stuff and uh, compare this to the Hot Toys, compare the NECA big chap to the Mezco Toys one and then I want to do looking at this, I think it's worth doing like a just a complete big chap collection, all of them and just go through in order of which ones are the most accurate leading to number one now you already know the Kotobukiya uh, figurine doesn't really move, it's just a statue but that's always going to be number one until you know something else comes along as far as what's in my collection anyway Prime 1 stuff does look amazing but it will be interesting to see what the top 3 are and the front view which is really creepy because it just looks like he's laughing at you and the tail is poseable bendy you can do what you want with that absolutely love the hands you see the wrinkles in the arm from the suit look proportions of his butt to the waist and then going up to the chest all really on point just so you can see what they look like side by side this is the Medicom 1.6 scale 
big chap alien next to the hot toys Ellen Ripley from the same movie alien both just standing on the desk and Ripley does have her knees slightly bent and they're more or less the same height which is not movie accurate but then again two completely separate companies made these very much years apart so hopefully I don't know I don't really trust hot toys when it comes to if they do revisit the big chap getting it right I would be afraid that they would just release the same thing again but maybe with a bit of a paint update or something they really need to revise you know many aspects of it if only Medicom would come back with a another one of these but just a bit bigger that's the that's what we need folks So if I put the Medicom figure on my rotating base next to Ripley, that's kind of the height he should be. And it would be a lot of fun photographing Ripley with this figure. I can still do that. I mean, just do the old Hollywood trick and put him on a box. You know, zoom in. You can't tell. You can't. Tell. That's such a great piece. Look at that, man. Oh, Hot Toys Ripley. Absolute masterpiece. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. But yeah, I will definitely be taking some pictures at some point. Just have to raise them up a bit, that's all. Now this is the Mezco Toys 112 scale Big Chap Alien. I've already reviewed this on the channel, make sure to check it out. The, ugh, the frustrating base with the Aliens font. It's just so annoying, I have to figure something else out. But just wanted to mention, if you look at the row of teeth, the top and the bottom, they have that kind of curve to them. That I always remember from when Dallas is nabbed in the uh, vents and he kind of reaches out for him, just wants to cuddle when you see his teeth. And it's the only one really that has that, the Mezco figure. Um, even the Medicom here, maybe a little bit of the bottom row, but not so much the top row of teeth. And I don't know if that's which one's 100% accurate as far as that goes, but I do remember thinking when I saw the Mezco Toys one that I was very pleased they captured that kind of roundness to the teeth. I'm going to go look on Google now and just see if I can spot what's going on there. This is a kind of statue on Google, a oh, prime one, yep, and that definitely has a curve to the top row of teeth. You can see there, not so much on the bottom row at all. It's quite straight across, but the top row of teeth in between the more fangy teeth has a curve to it and the Mezco Toys figure definitely captures that and it's one of the only ones in my collection that has I really like this figure folks I'm looking forward to talking more about this when I do the big comparison between all of them and which one's my favorite but they really did a good job with this one I mean you just need this one folks the Mezco get it well, that's the quarter scale NECA figure, and they definitely seem to have captured the teeth shape there as well. I need to check my one uh, over on the shelf over there. I need to check his mouth in a minute, but there's another image here of this beautiful like head that you can get. And yeah, you can see the curve to the top teeth here as well. And there's this image of the real suit from a couple of videos back. I think that was when I was reviewing the Necker figure. But yeah, you can see, I think maybe the Prime one's a bit exaggerated slightly with the curve, but I mean, that's the real suit, or one of them anyway. You can definitely see it. It is there on the top row. Maybe not as extreme as some of the other pictures we've just seen, but. What is it about these legendary horror creatures from the 70s, man? Michael Myers. The original shape and the big chap alien you just you just can't replicate it again and they're so good at holding it up to the test of time they, that original big chap alien is just forever going to be perfection and the original michael myers look you just can't top it i really like the 2018 myers look you know that if you follow my channel as far as articulation goes, folks, it's pretty good. It's like a, I don't know, like a thin, tough kind of armature skeleton in there with the soft vinyl over the top of it. 
Um, the wrist can turn and move. Um, it's got a hinge, which is interesting. So you can kind of have the hand do that. And I guess you can turn it. Um, tail is bendy, knees bend, ankles move. A uh, little bit of movement in his waist there. Uh, you can move his head up and down, but the nature of the kind of soft vinyl just kind of pulls it back into this position. So articulation is not the best, but the draw here is the accuracy and the proportions and the look of the suit. It's just that annoying factor of him being too small for 1-6 scale. But other than that, it's a really essential piece if you're a fan of the Big Chap Alien. It's just a nice piece to have. Such a true representation of him. looks really nice. This was a bit of a fluke. I was just taking them off the base and I'm moving the lights around and I looked at it and thought, oh, that looks really nice, the way the light's hitting it. So I'll show it to you like this, just to get it in the video. It's just beautiful. So I'll wrap it up there, folks. It's not the most complicated figure. You know, I don't really want to pose him too crazy because he's in good condition, got him from a great price. He's quite rare. I don't want to risk anything happening. So not the longest review, but hopefully I've shown you pretty much what you need to see. It's in 4K quality, so make sure you're watching it in full HD and try and watch it on a TV screen so you get the full benefit. But for a score out of 10, I, whew, it's, it's, it's a tricky one. He is an old figure, you know, I mean, this is almost 15 years old. It's 14 years, I think. So it's an old piece, and they really put their heart and soul into it. I don't think there was much 1-6 scale alien big chap competition at the time of Medicom doing this, so that's probably why they didn't worry too much about making him 14 inches tall. You know, if the Hot Toys one had have already been released at the time of them making this, I'm sure they would have taken that into account and he'd be bigger. So, factoring all that in, i got to give it a 9 out of 10. I just think it's a beautiful piece. It's so accurate looking. Yep, it could be taller, and yes, the paint job could be a little bit more detailed, but for when he came out, and for the obvious care that they put into the piece, I've got to give him a 9 out of 10. Must have if you're a fan. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to drop a like on it for me. And follow me on Instagram. I'll be putting up plenty of pictures of this piece up on there at Dean Knight 333. Thanks for watching, folks. More alien content coming soon. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.